I think that many people find the music of Franz Joseph Haydn pleasant, but I also think he's often overshadowed by Mozart, who wouldn't be overshadowed by the little boy who is known as history's greatest child prodigy. Haydn is known as the father of the symphony and the father of the string quartet. He developed so many of these forms that other composers have used over and over again. Haydn started out life in a small Austrian town. When he first started to show musical talent, he really had no opportunities there. So his parents sent him to live with a relative who taught music in another town. Haydn was six years old at the time, and he would never live with his parents again. His new music teacher was mean and he was strict, but Haydn was only with him for two years. When he was eight, a man from Vienna came and heard him sing, and then invited him to perform in a boys' choir in the capital city. Off Haydn went once again. Haydn spent a number of years in the boys' choir, but one day when he was a teenager, he decided to cut off another chorister's pigtail. At the same time, his voice was breaking, so between these two events, Haydn got himself caned, dismissed, and kicked out onto the streets with only a few shirts, an old jacket, and his musical knowledge. So Haydn tried to make a living. He taught, he busked, and he worked as a valet. Eventually, he established himself as a musician, and he decided that it was time to get married. Haydn fell in love with Therese Keller. But unfortunately, her parents insisted that she join the convent. So just like Mozart, Haydn decided that the best option would be to marry his love interest's sister. Maria was her name. Maria had a temper, she had absolutely no interest in music, and Haydn didn't think she was good looking. The marriage was a terribly unhappy one, and both Haydn and Maria cheated on each other. To make matters worse, Therese would eventually leave the convent and marry someone else. In 1761, Haydn was hired by the Esterhazys, this incredibly rich aristocratic family. Although all musicians at the time were seen as servants, Haydn had comfortable housing and a steady income. Haydn spent much of his time following the Esterhazys as they moved from palace to palace, but they spent most of their time at their country estates, where Haydn didn't get the opportunity to hear much music other than that which he had written. Haydn was forced to create his own musical path without much regard for what anyone else was doing at the time. And so there Haydn was, tucked away in some of the grandest palaces in Europe, trying to please his employer and trying to get away from his wife, but yet creating the music that would become a foundation for centuries of composers after him.